All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be doing a quick global preview for the upcoming STR Weiss, who, from what I've been told, will be dropping on global on June 4th, which is about three days from now. And of course, he's going to be available as part of the Dokkan Fest Fizz Beerus banner. Now, as you guys know, usually when I do these global previews before a new banner drops, I only focus on the main unit, right? Like the new Dokkan Fest unit or the new LR. But for this specific unit, for this Whis, he's just so unique and awesome that I felt the need, I felt compelled to give him his own preview as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and get this showcase started. As you can see, we are running a siblings bond team. And unfortunately on this first rotation, we can't link him with the uh, Tech Beerus, who is one of his best linking partners. But uh, he will be coming the next time that Whis comes back onto rotation. And we actually have two supports here, so it, it should still be a pretty good showing for the Whis. I'm actually put him in the middle so we can get potentially a few dodges. And uh, as far as damage goes, he's not going to be that impressive, but the damage is not really Whis's selling point. The thing that makes this Whis so interesting, like I said, is his dodging ability and his tanking ability. So right now he has about 90,000 defense, which is okay, right? It's nothing crazy, but he can build defense very, very quickly with his dodges. I'll explain in a second once we get to the passive, but let's see what happens here first. Uh, obviously we got the super from the Bula here. And Whis is getting 1.2 million, so, you know, nothing crazy. Not very impressive. You guys have seen much higher damage, although that was actually a pretty impressive crit. Well, we did 1.2 mil there, and then we got an additional about a million there. Okay, so we tank for 55. We got a dodge, and that's it. Okay, so you didn't really get to see too much there, man. We need to get to a later stage where there's like a ton of attacks stacked up in, you know, one spot. So uh, let me get to the details now for the Whis, for anybody that is unaware, that doesn't know. His leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple, category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, super attack, supreme damage, lowers attack and defense of the enemy, which is a 20% 20, 20 attack and defense buff for 3 turns, did I say buff? Debuff for 3 turns, and seals the enemy's super attack. Obviously that doesn't really work on events like this, but for any event like Super Battle Road for example, where the enemy can be sealed, that can definitely be very clutch. And his passive is attack and defense plus 100%, right? So that's where we're starting at, which is decent. It's not bad. But he also has a great chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, which is a 70% chance to dodge. So that's the same as the LR Ultra Instinct Goku for the first seven turns, right? And he also gets an additional defense plus 50% with each attack evaded within the same turn. Now, because of the way that's calculated, that 50% in practice is actually more like 100% defense with every attack evaded. So this dude's actually kind of untouchable. Unless you get supered, like for the first attack, and you don't dodge that, then that could hurt a bit. But if he dodges an attack and then gets hit, like he doesn't dodge the second attack, he's still gonna be tanking pretty well just because he gets so much defense. But as you can see there, he didn't even get hit. So we got two dodges right there, 70% chance to dodge, guys. Great chance to dodge. And he doesn't, that doesn't go away. He keeps that for the entire event. I mean, obviously here, he's going to lose it at the end because MUI Goku takes away dodges. But for the majority of events in this game, he's always going to have a 70% chance to dodge. And then even when he does get hit, it's not going to hurt that much because he gets so much defense, right? And on top of that, that's not the whole passive, by the way. Like, that's already a lot, but that's not the whole passive. He also gets, or he also gives all allies attack plus 50% and recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn when there's an ally whose name includes Beerus attacking in the same turn. So if you pair him up with any Beerus in this game, I think it also works with the LR Beerus and Whis because it also still includes Beerus in the name, right? Um, yeah, so 50% additional attack that's an insane support passive right there also healing for 10 percent 
Um, so yeah, basically this dude does a little bit of everything. He will seal enemy attacks or enemy super attacks. He lowers attack and defense. He will dodge attacks, 70% chance to dodge. He can tank, obviously. He gets a really good support passive. If you have a Beerus on the same rotation, he can also heal when you have a Beerus. Um, yeah, there's really this guy, nothing this guy can't do. Like, he's just an awesome, awesome unit. And even though he's not a Dokkan FS exclusive, he's, I feel like, almost good enough to be. Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but like, you get my point. Like, he's awesome. Okay, so hopefully we get a dodge here. Got a dodge there. Okay. Second dodge. We're gonna super. I actually hope we don't kill him here. Because if we don't kill him, they can potentially see how much tanking this guy can do. All right, there we go. Took a normal, 46 damage. We got a super here, and we're dodging that, okay. All right, so, <laughs> Whis just went Ultra Instinct there. I mean, it's Whis, so it's, it's not a surprise, but like, that's, that's pretty wild, man. He took one hit there, it was a normal attack. I actually kind of hoped that we would get hit by a super just to get an idea of like how well he can tank those, but, um, I mean, it wasn't meant to be, man. He just, he just too good, like with the dodges. That like you can't, we can't, even, we're not even gonna get to see him really take that many attacks, unless we get to the MUI stage, which we probably won't because of the way this team is built. It'd be kind of hard, but we're just gonna do a few more stages here. All I want to show you guys is just how good he is on defense, how good he is defensively, and so far I think you've been able to see a good amount of that. We got the triple super this time. That's awesome. I love when that happens. Okay. So, yeah, Super Saiyan 3 Goku didn't stand a chance there. And now, let's see how many attacks we have here. Ooh, okay. So, this is a bit of a tough rotation, actually, because we got two attacks at the end. We got one in the middle. Obviously, Whis in the front with the three attacks makes the most sense, but I'm kind of scared that the Gohan will get destroyed. I don't think he'll die though. I think I think we'll survive, even if we get supered at the end. So I'ma trust Gohan to have her back. I think I think we'll make it. Alright, we do your thing, man. Do your thing. Alright, 1.6 mil. And uh, of course, a uh, big part of that is because he gets that additional 50% attack. But why is this man additioning so much ad additionaling so much? Because he doesn't have anything to do with additionals in his passive. But he's still just getting additionals left and right. Like, how many times is that that he got additional super? I want to say at least, like, two or three times. Okay, so anyways, uh, we didn't get hit at all there. We dodged all three of those attacks. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, that 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 was what I was a bit concerned about. Um, let's put the friend Cobra there. And I think we'll be okay for this rotation. That's always kind of the fear with these showcases, right? Like you're trying to like make sure we get to the rotation with the main unit, but then you also got to survive. Got to worry about the off rotations because, you know, if, if we get killed here, then we can't keep showcasing him, right? So Whis is holding his own for sure. Whis is, has he taken any damage in the showcase yet? We're eight minutes into the showcase. Eight minutes into the showcase. Has this man taken any damage? He took one hit, actually. What was it for? 50 damage? 40, 45 damage, something like that. Yeah, it's it's, it's kind of wild. It's kind of wild. Okay, there we go. He's dead, Super Saiyan Blue Goku time. And this will be the true test because, wow, that's a lot of attacks. Yeah, this will be the true test because obviously we have type disadvantage. Um, so hopefully we get a few dodges first and then we get supered, we take that super and Ideally, we take that super for, you know, only a couple thousand or, you know, under 50,000. Uh, as you guys know, this Goku hits really hard. So, you know, if we take a super for like 50,000 with type disadvantage, that would actually be beyond. Oh, man, come on. Okay, don't. Yep. Okay, there we go. There we go. Two dodges, three dodges, four dodges, five dodges. <laughs> Oh my god, we can't we can't even get to see what kind of damage he can take because he just doesn't get hit. He legit just does not get he's untouchable. Literally untouchable. That might be the 
name of this video actually. That's a pretty good that's a pretty good title. Uh, I'll think about it though. I mean you guys will know what the title is because you clicked on this video. So it might be that, it might be something else. I'm thinking about it right now. Generally speaking, when I like think about or when I come up with like video titles for showcases or really any video, um, it usually happens during the showcase or during the video when I'm like, you know, something crazy happens. Like what just happened there with all the dodges and I'm, I'm like, yo, this makes a lot of sense for the, for the title. Random tangent, I know. Let's get back to uh, focusing on this Whis once he comes back. Uh, did I tell you guys all the details for this Whis, by the way? I think I did. Oh, links, links. Godly Power, Cold Judgment, Connoisseur, Gentleman, Shocking Speed, Rival Duo, and also Fierce Battle. Obviously some niche links in there, but if you're linking him with Beerus, then it's totally fine. They share about four links, I believe. And uh, categories are Realm of God, Siblings Bond, and Bond of Master and Disciple. Okay, here we go with uh, three attacks here. So how much defense do we have? 76,000 defense. So ideally what's gonna happen here is if we get hit, it's gonna be the last attack. And, oh, we actually got a Dokkan attack here. Huh. All right, let's see what kind of damage Whis can do with the Dokkan attack. Ooh, we didn't dodge there. All right, that's the first like legit damage or legit hit we've taken this entire showcase. All right, that's the first legit hit we've taken. And he's getting up to 1.4 million attack here. As I said in the very beginning of this video, he doesn't really do that much damage. That's not what he's really here for. But considering how good he is on defense, how good he is with the dodges, um, it's quite a, wow, what is happening? Yo, please tell me you're gonna dodge this. Thank you, okay, you know what? <laughs> he took two pretty hard hits. But at the very least, at the very least, he dodged the one that matters. Okay, he dodged the one that matters. All right, now we're on the UI stage and we got here really fast. 12 minutes into the video, we got to the UI stage. Um, I'm going to actually go Usher here because I don't trust this these guys to not get us killed. Um, and then obviously next turn, I'm gonna put Whis to the test. And if, if anybody's gonna get us killed, it's not gonna be Whis. All right, it's not gonna be Whis. It's either gonna be Beerus, or it's gonna be whoever else is on the rotation, but it's not Whis. Yo, somebody tell me like a tally at the end at, at the end if you watch this whole video. How many times out of how many attacks did Whis actually dodge? Because I feel like it's it's it should be right around like 70%, right? We took three hits in total, but we got attacked a lot more than that. Um so yeah, his 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 record right now should be pretty solid, right? All right, here we go. Uh, this will be a big test for Whis for sure. He's done well so far, but uh, this guy hits hard, so we gotta make sure we dodge at least a few of these. There we go. Okay, we dodge the super. Keep in mind he did take what was it, like 60k for the normal attack. Can we dodge two? And yes, this one's gonna land. Ah, oh, it's not gonna land. Man, I can't just, I just can't get this situation where like he dodges a couple and then gets hit. We always either just don't get hit at all, right? We just dodge all the attacks or we get hit first before we're able to build up any defense. So that's a little bit unfortunate. It's not working out quite the way I wanted it to, but he's still doing some really good things. Like, don't get me wrong. He, he's still doing very well. All right. Um... Let's see. Man, I want to pop these active skills, but we're not here to showcase the Go Bros. We're here to showcase the Whis. So instead of popping the active skills, I'm going to just Ghost Usher again. And, uh... Yeah, it hurts me, man. I don't get to see these active skills that often, but I don't think I should. I don't think I should pop them. Let's pop one. Go pop one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so enjoy guys. I know people don't generally get to see, you know, this animation. It's a really nice animation. It's just not really a thing that happens too often, right? So enjoy that. There we go. And now let's get through this rotation and then we'll do one more turn with our Whis. See what happens with those attacks in the beginning. And uh, that's going to be the showcase, guys. That's going to be a preview. And obviously, 
the main focus, if anybody's going to be summoning on the Beerus banner, is still going to be on the Beerus, rightfully so, but... I mean, having this Whis there as well definitely, you know, sweetens the deal a little bit, right? It definitely makes the banner, at least to me, more intriguing. Right, we're definitely going to die here because, you know, we got got her in the back. So I don't think Whis will get us killed unless we take a super immediately and don't dodge it. But uh, I think the normals are definitely going to take her down. So one way or another, this should be... The end of the video. Actually. Oh, please land. Please land. There. There we go. Okay. 72 damage. It finally happened. It finally happened at the very end of the video. We finally got three dodges and then tanked an attack. So there we go. 72 damage. Like I said, 100% um, in effect, you know, with the way it's calculated. 100% defense with each attack evaded. So that's why we only took double digits there. Basically, no damage. And yeah, we're not going to survive MUI here. Not, not with this team. So that is the video, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if this Whis was impressive to you or, I mean, I was impressed. I, at the very least, I was impressed. So are you as impressed with this Whis as I am? And uh, I guess that's it. That's all I got to say. Enjoy these animations or enjoy watching me die. Whoa, we actually didn't take that much damage there. I mean, this is going to hurt. But anyways, enjoy watching me die. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video overall. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And we are still alive somehow. We gotta die here, right? We gotta die here. And that's it. I'm out here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.